Hello everyone, it's Diane, and I'm excited because I finally get to start working on these science journals today. So I have these two books. This is Research Adventures for Young Scientists, and it is 1960-something. I think it was 1964. And this one is a custom order. And then I have this one, Science Through the Seasons, and this is 1950-something. And this one will be in my shop. So obviously they're two different sizes, so I will have to cut the papers accordingly. And I think I have to copy dye some paper to actually start the pages. But I thought I would start out today by making ephemera. I have the book pages. I tore out all of the pages with diagrams and drawings from the smaller book. And they're nice. Um, they look old, but, they, but they're not too fragile, so they'll be nice to use. And I kept the text block, too, so I can use some of these pages for backgrounds or whatnot. And then this page, I think all, or this book, all of the pages have illustrations because there's a corner illustration in every page, so I didn't bother going through and tearing pages out. I'll just tear them out as I need them. Some of them don't look very scientific. I can use these pages in other types of journals, but some of them do look scientific. And it's got experiments and stuff in it, chemistry experiments. So I like that this one has color pictures and this one has black and white, so that'll make a nice combination. I also have my Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz collection of la labor laboratory stamps. So, I hope I have them all here. How many does it have? I don't know if it says, but I used some. Seems like there should be another one here. Anyway, so I have those stamps, and, I've, and like I said, I've used some, and I will show you what I made. I also have this that I got online, and I can't remember um, who I purchased it from, but they're little circles and I can use my punch to punch them out. It's got scientists along the bottom and then little drawings. Wasn't there another book that I got? Yeah. I got another book that I showed recently that had illustrations that were a lot like these, so I'll have to find them, find that book, and use some of those pages also. And then I have, I'm over at my stamping table, so I had to bring some stuff over with me. And I've got envelopes that I can decorate and tags. These are my um, jeweler's envelopes that I sell in my shop. I have the light blue and the brown, and I have white, but I haven't listed them in the shop yet. I'm going to. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to list. And then I have scraps of manila cardstock from folders, and I have some gridded journaling cards. I think they're like um, Project Life cards. And I thought with the grids that'd be good for a science book. Ledger papers and all this kind of stuff. So, Oh, and I have two CD envelopes. I don't know what I'll do with any of it yet. But I just wanted to get started making some stuff. So when I tried out my Tim Holtz laboratory stamps, this is what I did. I just stamped them on manila file folder pieces and then inked around them with black and a little bit of vintage photo. So some of these will be pockets and some will be cards to journal on. So, what do we want to do? Let me see about these stamps. I have this one. I have this one. This is one that's missing. The hand with the bottle. So I will have to do a search for that. And I have this one. So I am missing one. It's probably around here somewhere. I just hope it wasn't in the garbage. Because the garbage went out. Alright. Let's just do a few more of these. I haven't used all of these yet. I did have a whole set of stamps disappear on me. It was um, Dina Wakely 
the ladies' faces. I did buy another set that came with something else, but they were smaller. They were the same faces, but there were a couple more, and they were smaller. And I never did find the original stamps that I had. It's a mystery. And I hate when that happens. I have to assume that it fell into my garbage can. Because, you know, your tables get so cluttered and things fall and you don't realize it. At least that's the way it is here. Might as well do a couple since I'm doing two books. I got my paper doll journals finished yesterday. They were so much fun and I showed them to my mom and she thought they were adorable and she was just so pleased that I found a use for the paper dolls that she gave me. Some of them were duplicates of what I had like the little Victorian mice and the vintage, the tall vin vintage dolls that were in the front of each book. I already had those sets so I got to use hers and put them in the books and I still kept mine. Well, I did give away one of my vintage lady dolls. There were two in the book. So I did give up one of mine. They're cute. I like them. I should probably be trying this as a live but I'm still skittish about do doing that because it didn't look so good the first time. Why didn't I do two of them? I re do you remember the little... Um, test tubes in chemistry class in school. I remember Bunsen burners and test tubes and beakers and all that cool stuff. I'm not a sciencey person. I enjoyed it in school and I got good grades, but it's not my favorite thing. I didn't like biology when we had to um, bisect, dissect animals. Like we did, we did earthworms. We didn't do big animals like some schools do. We did earthworms and I think the biggest we did was a frog. And then label the diagram of, you know, what all the parts were. This little one, I think, hmm, I think I'll put this on a tag with some journaling lines. Let me go find a stamp that has journaling lines. These are uh, um, Stampin' Up stamps, and you had to put them together when you got them. And so I had to write on this one that I put it upside down to remind myself to turn it when I want to stamp with it. So what was I saying? I thought I was doing it upside down because it doesn't look right. But now it looks right. So I'll stamp this here. I can demonstrate the masking technique if you're not familiar with it. I need a scrap of paper. I will stamp whoop, I will stamp this on a scrap. because I want some more lines here, but I don't want to put lines over the beaker. 
So I'm just going to cut out this little image that I stamped. Probably a lot of you are familiar with this technique. But just in case, I have to do it anyway, so you might as well watch me. With a stamp like, like this one, I could just move it over and stamp over here, but I don't want the, <clears throat> the holes and the line there. I want it to just look like this is over that part. So then you put this down over it. You can use like a repositionable glue, which I don't have, so I won't use it. So I just laid the little cutout beaker on top of the stamped beaker. And let's hope I do this right. There. So now where the beaker was, you can't see the stamping, but you can see it on both sides of it. So that's a cool tag. I like that. Let's do another one since we're doing two journals. And that's called masking. And where did my mask go? I lose everything. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Blended right in with what was on my paper. So we have a couple of tags. This will help me use up a little tiny scrap. I will stamp it on the manila. See if it'll fit on this piece. I'm having a <clears throat> terrible time with allergies. <clears throat> That's why I get so hoarse. And I had my granddaughter couple of days this week and I was talking to her and my voice just got really really raspy and I could hardly get any sound out it didn't last long but she was laughing at me and she said you sound like a weird old lady well you got the old part right and probably the weird just decorate that with that and I'll probably put something else up here but I don't know what yet and I don't even know what I'll do with the envelope maybe I'll hinge it to another page so it can be like a page that you turn and I can use one of the illustrations from the books to go inside it Let's see if we can find one Let's look at the colored pages. Maybe. This, one, this chapter is about changing seasons, so it doesn't look very scientific. It looks nature-y. I remember doing an experiment with my brother's globe in his bedroom, and I felt guilty because I don't think I was supposed to go in his bedroom. What is this? It's a strip of something. Hmm. Um, but we had done this experiment in school with a light bulb and moving the sun, the globe, around the bare light bulb to watch the shadows it was supposed to represent the sun. So I went in his bedroom to try that out, and then I 
hit my arm on the bare light bulb and got a really nasty burn. So I had to fess up. I didn't get in trouble though. But I was always scared I was going to get in trouble. I was so guilty if I did anything that I wasn't supposed to. Let's try that one. I don't have a ruler over here. I guess I'll use this ruler. <clears throat> this envelope measures not quite five, and I think it's square. Yep. So. I'll trim. Trim that off. Might as well cut this illustration off the bottom so I don't cut it. We'll make it right about there. Let's see how that looks in there. That's about perfect. So I will probably sew that to some ledger paper. So I'll do that when you're not here or, or when I move my tripod over to the sewing machine. But this will get stitched to some graph paper or ledger paper or something. I brought two of these envelopes over. Where's the other one? <clears throat> Here it is. Let's try this one and see if it works. <clears throat> Oops, I had two there. Oh, so I went to see my mother's doctor, who is a holistic doctor, yesterday to see if she could help me with my, just the fact that I'm so tired all the time and I don't get to sleep much and all that stuff. And the crazy thing is, she's there, it's just in a little town. It's a little town where I grew up, actually, a little country town. <clears throat> and... It's in the building that used to be Petey's General Store when I, <clears throat> when I was a kid. <coughs> Excuse me. And we would walk down the hill. We lived up on a very steep hill, and we would walk down the hill, which was the fun part, and buy penny candy at Petey's. And then we would have to trudge back up that hill. So anyway, we went there, and just being in this little country store, old country store with wooden floors still, is so cute and quaint and there's a chiropractor in there and, a, and this holistic doctor and they have this little room they call it the treasure room where they have stuff people donate and then they sell it really cheap <clears throat> this is way off track here it has nothing to do with the journal that i'm making but i want to show you i'll be right back Sorry, I'm coming. I had some of it in the other room. So I went in there and I actually found some stuff I can use in journals. So there was this pile of coasters and I was just going to take, you know, pick out a few that I liked and take a few and she said it's a dollar for the whole pile. I said, okay. They're thin. They're not, this one, I, this one got bent. But they're very thin so they can be used in journals. And then there was a whole pile of gift wrap. Some of it is vintage, some of it is not. And a lot of it is from the National Wildlife Federation. So there's quite a bit of this one with the woodland look to it. And this one with woodland creatures. And this one with more cartoony looking creatures. 
there's a bunch of cat and dog ones because they do and and all this stuff benefits the animal shelter I believe it's all it all benefits something and I know that these doctors um, have a lot to do with the animal shelter that's a no-kill shelter so there's dogs and cats here this one is ASPCA paper safari animals jungle animals whatever and then some pretty florals this one looks like wallpaper baby paper this one's gorgeous butterflies and dragonflies hummingbirds isn't that pretty little chickadees or whatever they are sea turtles this might be good in my mermaid journals I think that's that might be what's coming next after my science journals I have to check my list but anyway I don't know why I got off track like that but I wanted to show you it's like everywhere I go I find stuff to use in journals and there's so much of it here I will be sharing it somehow some way all right let's get back to what we're doing actually we're at 21 minutes so I think I'm gonna stop and maybe the next video will be at my sewing machine <laughs>